Hello, Amy here again. In last video, I am teaching you how to install RRF on H7 board. So today, I will teach you how to install RRF on Super 8 board. So now let's work before preparation one Super 8 motherboard, one SD card, one USB flash disk, and one e Wi-Fi antenna. Yes, and one Type C USB cable. Now let's begin to use Type C USB to connect the motherboard to the computer. It is best way to plug the USB into the socket behind the host and plug the Wi-Fi antenna into the motherboard. Yes, over there. Okay, now. Let's start downloading firmware. Yes, this one we can download. Yes, and this one. And this one we need to choose F F4 for a Super 8. So now let's go there and go to the general. We choose Super 8. And this one is the same as H7. Yes, ADC1 and hit 0 and we can click finish and click finish to download it. Yes, now we need to choose download. Well, let's wait. Yes, this one we need to download. Okay, after downloading the BAU firmware, let's provide a SD card. Yes, this one we need to copy to the SD card. Now we can insert a SD card into the disk. Yes, and then insert it into the computer. Okay, now let's go back to the computer and open open the SD card. Yes, let's copy the above for downloaded firmware into the SD card. Okay, now we can decompress the fill. Yes. And this one, decompress. Okay, now we can delete the compressed package after that compression. Okay. And now we can rename this film. Yes, delete and this one, rename, delete. Okay, and now we need open the config field and then cat sys to the root directory. Yes, and now we can delete the config. Yes. Okay, now we need to rename this one to sunw. Yes, now we can create a new firmware. Yes, and then we can put that Wi-Fi server the bin to the firmware folder. And now create two empty folders, Gcos and macros. Yes. After compilation, we can pull out the USB flash driver and insert the SD card into the SD slot of the motherboard. Yes. 
over here and now we can go back our computer and find the terminal 3.4 deep to open terminal interface yes we can connect settings and select the port according to the comma port then we can enter n 997 s1 enter to flash wi-fi firmware into wi-fi module this will take few minutes let's wait okay now is successful let's enter m552 s0 enter and now we can enter m587 s wi-fi account and p wi-fi password yes enter and then we can enter m552 s1 enter let's open the wi-fi and connect it after the connection is completed there will be an ip address appear yes over there now we can enter the IP address in Google browser to open it. Okay, now let's go to the general. Here we can select the language as we want. Yes, over there. And after that, we go back to there and we can set our machine parameters again as our parameters so let's go to the system and upload system fields and choose config yes that is our newly generated config configuration field okay restart mayboard okay that is all for today Thanks for your watching. See you next time. Bye.